We are here again with another episode of Real Estate Talk with Randy Steadwell. Okay. Um, I have here with me the, uh, by the way, Real Estate Talk with Randy Steadwell. Hopefully you like the new logo. Let's see if you can get a good view of it. There you go. Um, I have with me Mike Cooper, who is a great guy, you know, awesome person to be around, awesome person to get to know, to talk with, uh, talk shop with, things like that. He is a wholesaler, he's an investor, he's a father, he's, you know, by all means, he is the uh, a great guy to get to know um, in this field. So we're about to get to know him a little bit better, okay, so I'm going to welcome up Mike Cooper. Mike, how you doing? I'm well, man. I'm well. How about you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Doing all right. That's so, good, man. awesome. So, you're not hearing any feedback or anything, are you? Not at all. Not at all. Just me and you. Okay. Awesome. So, what I'm going to do here is, uh, let's see. So, what we're going to do here is, you know, tell me a little bit about you um mm -hmm. and your your origin story like how did you get into real estate as as a whole you know because everybody wants to know that that oh uh, hey what what made you do what you're doing because you're a wholesaler as well right? absolutely absolutely okay. absolutely 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 yep and so you're you know tell me a little bit about you and you know how you got involved and where you even heard of it all right so um I was playing football at the, at the University of Ferris State University, uh, and I ended up breaking my foot playing ball. I ended up getting blood clots in my lungs. So if you don't know what blood clots is, blood clots are very deadly. They can kill you in a split second. Okay. Um, and once I discovered I had blood clots from the surgery, uh, the doctor came in and told me, like, I might not be able to play football again. In my whole life, that was almost, always my thought process. like. Mm -hmm. Go to school, go to college, go to the NFL, take care of my family. That was my only go, right? Like I was, I live, breathe sports, right? That's like my thing. Right. Uh, when the doctor came in and told me after my, after they called blood clots in my lungs, that I might not play football again, I cried. I mean, I cried because it's like, like my, I love my family to death. Mm -hmm. um, so what happened was I spent the night just on Google on my phone. All day like, how do how do how do how do I get rich? How do millionaires become rich? How do this? You know, how do how do millionaires make their money? And everything just come everything came everything came back to real estate. Okay, real estate. okay cool, cool, cool. So now I'm on YouTube. Like I'm like I'm in deep thought. Like my mother, she's gone because she's been at, at the hospital with me for like five days. Okay. I'm just by myself in the dark. Like people on my phone. All you see is my phone like I'm on it, I'm ticking. Doom, 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 doom. Now I get on YouTube. Um, and I'm searching, 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 searching. And I'm like, okay, I'm in college. I don't have a lot of capital. And the term wholesaler kept coming up. So now I'm like, okay, wholesaler. Okay, cool. Sounds like I got something I can do. I educated myself. I educated myself. Uh, and that's pretty much how I got my, my, my intro into it. Okay. Uh, I end up, I end up stopping. Cause I was, I was probably like my junior year. I ended up stopping, focusing on school. Um, then, I graduated, I went to East Lansing, I worked for a little bit because wholesaler wasn't working in my location because I wasn't Big Rapids. Big Rapids is not a hot market for any type of real estate for real. It's deals right. there, you know, transactions being done there, but it wasn't something that really just caught fire, right? Yep. So um, I started a lawn company. I did that for a while, you know, uh, and I ended up having my daughter. That's what really clicked. My daughter came, I got very, very serious with my time and my efforts. Um, and I was working at Amazon at the time. That's like, it's like a year and a half, fast forward. So I'm working at Amazon or whatnot, and I ended up getting into it with my manager. Completely disrespectful, you know, cussing us out. You know, if you don't know about Amazon, they work you like a dog, right? And they was working us crazy hours in the winter time. They got me on the east side of Detroit. Crazy over there. People getting robbed. A, a car getting stolen. And I'm talk, talking to my manager. I'm like, listen, I don't want to go to East Side of Detroit no more. Like, you can't, you can't be keep put me over there. It's dangerous over there. Like, I don't think nobody should be getting packages delivered over there because it's so dangerous. And we had it. We got into it, whatnot. And 
we end up, I end up going my own way. Uh, I end up, they end up let me go. And my mother, my mother ended up hearing a, a Than Merrill, a Than Merrill uh, seminar on the radio. And she decided to take me, you know, she signed me up. And I went there for the three day training. And I got, got up there in the middle of the, so got, he got up there in the middle. So this is the middle of the, of the stands. I'm over here by the exit, right? Probably like 20 people right at him. And his, he concluded the, the seminar by saying, a lot of you guys came and got this information today, but 85% of y'all, 90% of y'all are not gonna take this information and do the work. I'm, I tapped my mother. Like, my, he talking to me. Like, I felt it in my spirit. He hit me right in my spirit when he said it. I'm like, I said, I looked right through my mind. I said, my, he talking to me. And that day on, I just, I just took action. So that was that. Wow. That, that, that's crazy because you know what? A lot of people go to the seminars mm -hmm. and again, it's just like what you said. Most of them, they don't take action. Mm -hmm. they, they don't. What they're like. And when you're all right, all right, I'm gonna do this, and and they get pumped up for the first day, for yep. the first two days, sometimes even for the first week. Yeah. But then it just goes downhill. Mm -hmm. And this is where, like, in my opinion, you know, it, it helps to keep you know people you surround yourself with people that Absolutely. are doing the same thing, that Absolutely. are or that are more successful from you, so you can see exactly where you need to to be and what mm -hmm. you need to do. Absolutely. So 100 percent you did the I think you did the right yeah. at least and, you recognized it. Yeah and what what was so my my motivation was so high at the time like I didn't have no choice because you gotta think it was so I, I gotta tell you all this backstory. So I went through so much and that three months of really learning how to wholesale, like, so uh, my lady told me to tell y'all this story, so I'm gonna tell it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so I have a daughter, like my daughter just, like my daughter's probably three months at the time, right? So I ain't got no excuses to tell her, my daughter, none of that. So I'm like, okay, I talked to my lady, I said, look, I'm gonna do this full time. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go hard for these next four, five months. I just need you to believe in me. So I took my last few checks and I paid rent for like two months, you know, and she, and, you know, she, she, she held me down. That's why I love her to death. Mm -hmm. um, she held it down and she, you know, she started paying a little bills here and there. Um, but I had a, a change jar. I had a Monte Carlo 2002 silver Monte Carlo. I had a change jar from college that I had from college that I was saving up money from. I had $7.75 to my name. I got paid all my bills. Yeah, two months of rent. I had seven dollars and seventy-five cents, right? So what I did was this. I kept studying, but what I did was I took that seven dollars and seventy-five cents. I put seven dollars in my tank. Like I'm flat broke. Yep. I'm flat broke. Like all my funds are exhausted. I'm flat broke. I take seven. I take my seven dollars and put it in my tank. My tank be my tank knob valve didn't even work. So I don't know how much gas I got in there, right? Yep. So, uh, so I, take, I put the $7 in my tank and I got 75 cent left. So they told me on a YouTube video that I was watching and educate myself on that if you go up to the probate, the probate court downtown Detroit, you can get the newspaper like 75 cent. Okay. So that's what I did. And uh, her name was Kathy. I love her today. I wish I could. I'm gonna hope I uh, get to contact her again. She's like, what are you, what are you, what are you getting these newspapers for? I'm like, well, I'm starting this thing called wholesaling, and my mentor basically said on YouTube told me to get come down here, call the pre pre uh, pre foreclosures, foreclosures, and probates to get leads. So that's what I did, and now I'm going every Friday. I mean, they met. I went there so much they started calling me Friday because every Friday I was there consistently picking up the newest, like all the papers for the week, and I had. I had a, I had Monday, Monday through Friday, a stack of newspapers with sticky notes on, like, with sticky notes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all around my house. And I had, like, little, little side notes, voicemail, callback, interested, or whatnot. And I did that for three months straight. Three months straight. And we, and before I got on the phone, I, I role played with my, with my lady. Ring, 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 because I wanted to sound confident as possible. 
You know, yeah. and that's the biggest thing. Like everybody want to cut down the tree, but you gotta sharpen. You gotta sharpen your blade first, man. You gotta be. You gotta be skilled. You know, you can't be on the phone talking. About, uh, uh, uh. You gotta have supreme confidence when you get on that phone with them sellers, and they put all their confidence in you to get this thing, this job done. So I had to train myself up, get my confidence up, slow down, stand up when I'm talking to actually yeah, understand yeah. what was really going on because it's not, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. But what I didn't, what I did know was I wasn't going to quit. I never been a quitter. And that's not, that's not, I ever got down like that. So I just showed up every day. And okay. I would say, tell anybody that's watching this, just show up. I think that's the biggest thing. You may not like it. You may hate it some days, you may like it some days, but just showing up is the biggest the biggest key for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, $7.75 got me started. Wow. $7.75. Yep. 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 That is crazy. So yep. uh, what did you do with those lists? I uh, when you what did was, how did you skip? Did you skip trace some? Um, you know. Tell, tell me exactly how you how, how you did it. What what service did you use? If you were free, like how how like if you didn't have any money, how did you skip tracing? So look, I had a phone, I had a had a Google Voice number that was free. And okay. my cell phone. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have no I didn't have no call, no dollar like mojo or batch leads or anything like that. I had just a cell phone and a Google Voice number. And what I did is with uh, probates and pre foreclosures, all that is county record. That's in, that's public record. That's in the newspaper. So all I did was I would just stroll back to the last two pages of the, of the newspaper and yep. I didn't have a list of the predecessors, uh, personal representative, this lawyer that's over that probate estate, whatever. And I just call, 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 for three months straight. Um, yeah, so that's what I did, man. I, I wasn't like I said, I didn't have no, I didn't have no excuses. Like I got pictures with my daughter. We on the yeah, phone together. Yeah. She won't stop crying. Like I'm getting cussed out because of my daughter. Like people on the phone, I'm, I'm hey, how's it going? My name is Michael for Asset Investment Groups. Blase, blase, blase. Give my spit, my uh, my spill, and my daughter's in the background crying. I'm getting cussed out. They think I'm scamming or whatnot. So I'll be calling with my daughter in my arm, so she won't stop like stop crying. Like I'll hold her here and I'll be on the phone. Here. You know, like I really had to like really buckle down because like I said, it wasn't no excuses, you know, and I had to, I had to leave my family and provide for my family. So it wasn't no, oh, I need a dollar or I need this or I need this, I need that. It was just like, let's go to work. So that, that's what I'm saying is that when you are put, when you are put in the corner and basically like, hey, I got to provide for my family. I got to do whatever it takes. Absolutely. You'll find a way. As mm -hmm. a man, you'll find a way. That's just mm -hmm. how it goes. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. I 100% agree with that. Like Dean uh, actually says, "Nice story, Coop." By the way, so that's from from Dean. This, by the way, you know, so, Dean, my guy. Like Dean is part of my whole process. Like yeah, Dean, Dean is so, awesome. That's Dean actually is so, his event is where I, we met. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you know? crazy is all the magic happens at Dean's Mastermind. So if you're not attending Dean's Mastermind, attend. Okay. Exactly. Right, um, but so, so it took me three months to get my first, my first deal. But okay. I had multiple, multiple like appointments. I took yep. my first appointment. I took my daughter with me because she didn't have a babysitter. I didn't. I couldn't afford babysitting. Like my daughter is literally. I have a video. She's strapped to my chest. You know, I'm making a video. Like, she's strapped to my chest. I'm going through the, the property. I didn't get that deal. Um, I've been on a few more like, oh my man, when I say I've embarrassed myself so many times, like I've been at Seller's house where I slept on ice and I'm like on a garage trying to keep myself up. Like so much has happened to me over these last three to four years, man. I just never quit, you know, and that's that's the biggest thing with what anything you try to achieve. Like you can't quit. You can't go in there with the mindset of, oh, this might work. No, you got to go in there with complete faith. And no, hey, it may not take, it may not take next, may not be next week, two years, but if I constantly keep my reel in the line, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fine fish. So, yeah. 100%, 100%. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, no matter what, I think the best thing that happened to you mm -hmm. is your daughter. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Because if you, if it was just you and your girl, 
Don't get me wrong. Your no. girl's a great motivator. Absolutely. But not as good motivator as that kid. Yeah, my daughter, man. My daughter's everything. We have a huge, 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 huge connection. Like, we, we are like, that's my twin.